Today we're in Photoshop's beta and we're going to be looking at the remove tool and the find distractions which now has a section for cables and people. I'll put it through its paces and show you how what it can do and what it can't do and a way to kind of fix it. Let's go. If you haven't got Photoshop's beta in Windows let's go down here to the start button go to your creative cloud once we're in creative cloud go over to apps and we'll go over to beta and there it is right there just install it and the world's a happy place all right for this first one here we're going to do an easy one we don't want these people over here in the background so this first one will be an easy one go over here we'll grab our remove tool or you can hit shift j twice that should bring you down to your remove tool. Now up here is what we want, the new find distractions thing. Now I always leave remove after each stroke unchecked so it can give you more options and do what you want. And make sure we get this little icon checked. It's sample content from all the layers. First thing we'll do is we'll make a new layer. We'll call it removals. We'll always call it removals. Then let's go up to find distractions and people. It'll do its thing. Okay, so it found these people appearing in the uh, in the building here. So you can either hit the, the check mark up top, but I always just use enter and let's watch it go. I might speed up things every time just to see. And gone. They're they're gone. Absolutely gone. Very cool. Time for a beer already. Now that was a simple one of what I can remove, but if you hit your Z key and look up here, it's kind of warped a few things. So what you can can do is take your remove tool again. Let's make your brush smaller and hold your shift key down, dab and run a straight line, enter. Straightens it out. Off you go. Let's zoom out. Bam. Done. Beer time. All right. We got the classic here in the example number two. The old we're having a smooch in Paris thing. And there's all kinds of people leaping around. So let's go up here to our remove tool. Find distractions and people. I'll speed it up for you. Anytime it takes a bit. Now. You can see he grabbed everybody, including something else here you don't think is a person. So what we'll do is you hold your Alt key down and let's put back what we want. Because we don't want to remove the girl that's getting the smooch here. Now let's zoom in, make our brush the appropriate size. Hold your Alt key down. Let's keep this there. And let's keep her hairs here. Now you can always let go of the alt key and, and make it a little bit better. Let's kind of fix this in here so we don't see any of the blue guy's hoodie. But for the most part, we got it going on here. There are ways to fix this. Now everything else I think looks cool. Uh, yeah, that looks all good to me. All right, zoom out, and let's hit enter. Speed it up a bit here. And bam, everybody's out of there, and it's replaced it with other stuff that's around, obviously, and or what's in the cloud. And it's looking pretty good. Let's check out, hit your Z key. Uh, looks pretty good in between here. There's a bit of weirdness here. So what we can do, if you want, do a new layer and call it Clone Stamp. We'll use some old school here. Hit the S for the Clone Stamp tool. Make your brush kind of appropriate. Make your selection. Just go over here. And let's just clean up her ponytail. I'll change my floor to 20% so it doesn't take as long. Make a selection and clean it up. There we go. Let's put the clone stamp and the removals in a group. Repairs. Let's check it out. Before. 
after including the shadows before after very cool example number two now example number three here for removing distractions and people this one's got everything it's got power lines up top here it's got people and distractions and everything in there let's see what it can do with this so again new layer removals now remove tool so find distractions let's do the wires and cables first it'll do its thing it'll check it out i'll speed it up here and bam the wires and cables are gone but we have a little bit of a discrepancy here it went right through the kid's head and kind of messed it up that's no biggie so throw on a layer mask here get your brush be for your brush tool make it flow 100 percent what we'll do is make sure you're painting in black so hit your x key and just go over the kid's face and we'll just bring it back no biggie anything it removed we can bring it back the treetops kind of got a, a bit glitched here but we'll fix that in a second zoom out now let's go back again you can hit your j key or remove tool find distractions people now what it does is it finds orange guy here and it finds what could be a person here looking at a piece of paper which is kind of cool it doesn't need to see that it's an actual person it just knows that that's a person distraction but the cool thing with having remove after each stroke not checked is we can still add to what we're doing because i don't want this orange thing here so we can dab that out and whatever this is and enter speed it up and all of it gone this is unbelievable it's so cool they got to put this in the regular version of photoshop soon i think it's coming along get it so what we'll do was we'll do another new layer because we got to do some old school uh, clone stamping here if you want actually i'm gonna not do that i'm gonna keep using the remove tool and z key let's remove on the trees here and see what it does if we use the remove tool to straighten things out let's make our uh, brush appropriate size and we'll just go around here like this and see what it does enter it added in some trees and stuff very cool but i don't like how it did with this here i mean you can go in here to see if it'll fix the sky and it's okay you can still see uh some stuff there so what a person can do in that case is well, let's make a new layer go old school clone stamp go up a little bit higher move it over a bit now as for the clone stamp tool flow about 20 percent make sure you have current and blow going on now at 20 percent, it should be okay get your brush appropriate size make your choice and just kind of go in here and let's throw some sky back in here on top of these trees and here in between let's see what it did over here kind of the same thing make your choice and let's do a little bit of fixing i'm going to reduce my brush size go over here and let's clone stamp a little bit of sky in here zoom out cool okay the other thing i noticed is it kind of remove the tree top here so what we can do is zoom in a bit we use this as our selection we'll grab this and let's just throw a tree top in here why not well fix a little bit of the sky over here and over here now just to make sure it doesn't look the same as that one hit Control t for the transform right click in the middle and go to warp now let's go over here right click again and split warp crosswise we'll go over here and kind of do this so then you can alter it and make it your whatever you want so let's kind of change it a little bit there bring it in here maybe bring it in a little bit there and now doesn't 
look the same as the other one. Done. Out. Very cool. Now, the last thing I noticed is on the shoulder pad here, it left a little bit of orange guy here. So, Z key, let's zoom in on that. Use your R key to rotate. S for clone stamp. We'll make our brush a little bit smaller here. Still at 20% is cool. And we'll make our selection with the Alt key. And let's just remove what's left of orange guy here. Make a selection over here. Kind of clean that up a bit. I'm going to grab some of the gray here to fix this. And let's smooth it off with a little bit of trees. And any remnants of gray guys gone. R, escape, zoom out. Very cool. Let's put our repairs in a group. Call it repairs before, after, before, after. Very cool. Things are gone. I'm liking this. Example number three. Now, example number four here. I wanted to totally put it at its, at its best to see what it can do. We got way too many wires in a cage here with these pretty dogs behind. So, new layer, removals, go to our remove tool, find distractions, and wires and cables. Now, it'll Photoshop will do its thing. I'll speed it up for us. And bam! It's all gone. I can't believe this. I got nothing. <laughs> I don't I don't have to repair anything by the looks of it. Look at this. I don't know. I got nothing. Here, let's zoom in. But look at the puppies' faces and their feet, the ground, everything. Before. After. Before. After. Did I just get lucky with this? This is amazing. Adobe, you guys are on the right track. We got a little bit of stuff here that we can quickly fix with the remove tool. If you wish, what we'll, what we'll do is we'll rotate our canvas. We'll dab, shift key, straight line, dab, straight line, dab, straight line, dab, straight line. Kind of get rid of this stuff over here. And a couple of things over here. Enter. And it did it. Rotate, escape, zoom out. What the heck? Beautiful picture. I wouldn't do much with it. It looks like there could be a little bit of stuff here. But you guys are on the right track with this. This is, this is beautiful. You can fix this again. Old school, new layer. Clone stamp, S for the clone stamp tool. Let's bring it down to about 5%. Rotate our canvas so we can draw a good straight line. S for the clone stamp tool. Let's just make our choice. And there, that line's gone instantly. R, escape, zoom out. Wow, this is amazing stuff. Example number four, I got no explanation. Cool. Well, there you go with our four examples. The Renew Remove tool with its fine distractions of people, cables, and wires performed really well. And this is just the beta. It can only get better from here, kids. Unbelievable. With these new enhancements in any photo, especially removing people, it can save you a lot of time and a lot of grief from trying to remove it yourself. But if you can't, like I showed you here, you can use some old school clone stamping to fix it up for you. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of what's happening here. To me, it's amazing. That last one with the dogs, that just blows me away. Unreal. If you're getting anything out of my tutorials, please like and subscribe. That'd be great. I'm Don from Photo911. See ya.